Live from the CBS 19 News Studio, this is CBS 19 News at 6, Charlottesville News First. The tarps over Confederate statues in Charlottesville have to come down, and the suit to keep those statues in place will move forward. The local soccer community calling on Albemarle County to fix fields that players say just aren't safe. And a local woman, one of just a few in the nation to get a new type of cancer treatment, will show you how it's working. Good evening, everyone. I'm Dan Schutte. And I'm Tara Wheeler. Thank you for joining us. A judge has ruled the tarps covering the Lee and Jackson statues in downtown Charlottesville parks must be removed. That decision came during a motions hearing this morning. CBS 19's Courtney Stewart was in court for that hearing. She joins us now live from the park with more on the decision. Courtney. Hey, Dan and Tara, as you can see, the tarps are still up. But that's going to change in the next couple of weeks. Now, the judge did also rule that the lawsuit to keep these statues where they are can also move forward. So this controversy isn't going away anytime soon. Now, the judge did also say that the city had the right to rename Jackson Park. And he said that the plaintiffs have now provided enough information about Robert E. Lee in their amended complaint to argue that this statue is a protected war memorial. Attorneys for the city De declined to comment, and the trial in this case is set to happen either later this year or early next year. Reporting live in downtown Charlottesville, Courtney Stewart, CBS 19 News. Next on CBS 19 News at 11, city council meeting tonight to pick the members of a new police review board. A group of churches and other faith congregations meeting to make a change to the price tag of living in Charlottesville. And local activists questioning the democratic process and its lack of diversity. CBS 19 News at 11 starts right now. Charlottesville News First, the community invited to meet the candidates looking for a spot on the Police Civilian Review Board. This is part of the City Council's initiative to get the community more involved, and they had a lot to say tonight. CBS 19's Desiree Montilla in the studio now with more on what they're looking for in these future board members. Desiree. Well, Dan and Tara, dozens of people came out to meet the 13 candidates who want to serve on the Police Civilian Review Board. Council wants this board to emphasize independence, accountability, and transparency between the community and the police department, which is what residents told me they're looking forward to. Accountability. That's what we need right now. Accountability is a quality city resident Mary Carey is looking for in the future members of the Police Civilian Review Board. I'm looking for someone to actually hold the, people, the police department, city manager's office, city council, city government accountable. City council created this board last December to involve the community in reviewing the actions of the Charlottesville Police Department and this forum is another step in this process. 12 out of the 13 candidates took the stage at the Jefferson School African American Heritage Center to talk about their mission if they were to serve on the board. Well, this is a decades long fight to improve policing and accountability here in this town. Megan Keenan was another resident at the meeting who says diversity is a key factor for the board. So to see people of color, to see people who are low-income members of this community on the board will be most important in determining whether residents are getting what they want out of the Civilian Review Board because it is such an independent process. Which the city says is going to be one of their main priorities when they choose the final seven candidates to serve on the board. Looking for a mix of people who represent the diversity in our community. So diversity in race, diversity in profession, and expertise. Um, they want a good mix. But Carrie says she hopes this board can bridge the gap between the police and the community. And the police and, and the community are just not on the same page. And that's where we need to be. Now, the city councilors are expected to choose the seven board members to serve for one-year terms during their meeting on June 4th. The selected board members will choose their charter and define the bylaws of the review board. Reporting live in the studio, Desiree Montilla, CBS 19 News. Desiree, thank you. Impact, the local group of churches and ministries meeting tonight to tackle the affordable housing issue in the area. There were over 27 different faith congregations at Charlottesville High School looking to address this big issue. Impact wants the city to review the zoning laws in order to make it easier for the development of affordable housing in a timely manner. Impact also hoping that Albemarle County expands their housing fund to an affordable housing fund that could help pay for some folks' housing. Affordable housing is the foundation of everything. If people don't have affordable housing, 
they often can't afford food or medicine or other basic needs. Bravo emphasized how the housing epidemic affects senior citizens. More than 2,800 senior households in the county struggle to pay rent, while over 900 of them pay more than 50% of their income on housing.